It has been said that a master is a servant, and here we have a whole new subject to discuss with you. Now, Sugar is doing everything it can to try to make a name for itself. Seemingly ridiculous questions still exist. So the first thing they try to discuss is the question, is Meghan better than Catherine saying that Meghan and Harry are more popular than Catherine and William because they appeal to the younger generation? This is the first problem. Why do they always need to put Catherine down in order to make Meghan beautiful enough to prove that Meghan has no charm on her own? As far as being better than one, she certainly wasn't raised better than Catherine. I mean, his mother was a drug addict and a guest of the government. If you know what I mean, he didn't have a better education, he didn't travel better, her etiquette is certainly not better, and she is certainly more beautiful and certainly not better dressed. He doesn't have a better future than Catherine. She is not loved more or by more people. She's also no more respectable than Catherine. Meghan is better than Catherine and being a scammer at being deceitful cheaters. I at least give her those qualities, dot I still don't understand why Sussex sugars always talk about their appeal to the younger generation. What are they talking about? Meghan is the oldest of the four and Harry is only a few years younger than William. I don't think it's a generation gap, so that statement doesn't make sense and I can't stand them still trying to suck their queen out by dragging Catherine. The social media campaign against her is disgusting and completely unwarranted, jealousy means I've never heard of it before isn't an appealing trait, and the fact is, the younger generation doesn't like it either. I hate to pop your sugar bubbles, but Meghan is older than Harry, William and Catherine. So how on earth could he seduce the younger ones? It looks like maybe black people like her, because now she's finally pretending she's biracial instead of being white like she was before hooking up with Harry. In fact, Meghan Markle was the oldest royal wife to marry into the royal family and was therefore the oldest pregnancy. Meghan is middle-aged and attracts not so many people as her little fans. Meghan is no better than anyone, especially Catherine. Catherine is doing so much good not only in the UK, but also in Commonwealth countries. Well, Meghan only cares about what's good for her. Their popularity is at rock bottom thanks to all their lies and horrible behavior, maybe Meghan Markle is better than Catherine where her career has been, but I'm not convinced either. Now, she is good at being involved in many projects and then running away from them by cultivating friends then abandoning them and separating family members. I'll give it to him, it's better than Catherine than all that. She's also probably better at making food like avocado toast, actually. She was born before William or Harry or Catherine, and I don't even know who she likes. Maybe people under 30, who are wide awake and don't allow for dissenting opinions with all she says about being ethnic, and supported despite having worked her way up to the jewelry stocks, and some very impressive houses by way of an old feudal system and please I don't want to hear it. Meghan did it all on her own. She and Harry would be completely broke and still couldn't hold the Queen's kilts, Meghan has said horrible things about the royal family. So many times now he despises royalty plenty of time to be with royalty and work with royalty. Naturally, the late queen had a lot of faith in Catherine. Meghan and Harry don't like the younger generation at all, but I will say they bring a lot of misunderstandings to people who don't understand British royalty like some American Hollywood movie stars. These stars simply don't know the royal family and believed what Meghan told them was true. The negative ratings received by Meghan and Harry are lower among young people, but most people don't like them. Even 16 to 24 year olds don't like them. William and Catherine are also much more popular in this age group. The last digits are minus 38 for Harry and minus 42 for Meghan. Harry and William were actually on par until recently with this age group, but Catherine has been more popular than Meghan all the time and the latest polls show that Harry has lost a lot of popularity among all age groups including youngsters. Meghan is a disgusting person. 
I'm so ashamed that Harry and Meghan live in the United States and Meghan has done such bad things. Reported makes me so sad that Harry would allow this and participate in the horrible things that Meghan has done and continues to do. It makes me want to see them both punished. So let's break it down a bit. Catherine, Princess of Wales has much better style than Meghan even when they were both duchesses Catherine as heir wife surpassed Meghan, as Meghan was only the Princess of Wales' sixth wife in line. Wales One day she will become queen and then Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex will always be the Duchess of Sussex. In this case, the position of your husband and children in the line of succession will continue to decrease as new heirs are born. So Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex is losing prominence, meanwhile, Catherine, Princess of Wales will only grow in prominence over time. The royal family and the line of succession is not a popularity contest, it's something I don't enjoy, whether real or imagined, it makes no difference. So who is a better person? Well, okay, the truth is, we don't know them personally, so we can't say for sure. But I will say that there is apparently a woman who works incredibly hard to represent the family she is married to and carries out her duties with grace and dignity. She is incredibly close to her own family and includes them whenever she can and whenever appropriate. She understands that she got married in a different world and therefore does her best to support her husband and the king. The other though, well, she's just trying to gain some compassion for herself whenever she can. She rushed into this world she doesn't understand, then cried when it wasn't what she thought it would be. She's estranged from most of her family members and also seems to encourage alienation from her husband's family, and it's not just that William always knew where his future was, but Catherine, when they were students, and had a really long courtship, because he wanted to make sure she knew what she was getting in a husband and a job for life. Harry really struggled after his mother died. He was now in two great long-term relationships, but neither of the women wanted to marry him and probably watching how Catherine handled the publicity and lack of intimacy was a big reason for that. And then this older woman came along, this American actress. He had idolized Princess Diana all his life. He went after Harry. They got engaged and then married at lightning speed against all notice to give him time to get to know each other. At first it looked like it was going to be a breath of fresh air, but it was just an act. She was soon accused of intimidating the staff wanting to change everything. And then, when he couldn't do what he wanted, he threw himself into a fit, and then, right after that rushed marriage, they headed to America. I believe that was Meghan's plan from the start, but who knows if she was ready to understand her place within the royal family in the hierarchy. She could have made a real difference in the world. A positive difference. But no, she was more interested in being a rich celebrity without Harry and his titles. Meghan Markle is a no. It haunted him. He expected a life of luxury, but without having to do any work. What Meghan and Harry did to Harry's late grandmother and her legacy is disgusting and unforgivable. He wants all the attention. He is a very scary person. He has an incredibly unroyal attitude and do you agree with me? Please tell me your opinion below in the comment section, and we can discuss this couple as well. Don't be afraid to like and share my video with your friends and family, who will like it also. If you think this is helpful, and also subscribe to the Royal Family News Channel to get more interesting videos from our team. Again, thank you so much for watching goodbye, and we'll be back to see you all tomorrow.